Hey guys, what's up? Hopeless Dragon here with another deck profile. Um, today I'm going to be doing it on my Medulce deck profile. I used this at my locals last week and um, went 5 0 with it, so um, I enjoy it. I think it's pretty consistent. I like this build, so uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just get right on into it. For monsters, we're running Triple Medulce Magellan, Searcher of the Deck, 1900 with your field card. Yeah, pretty much just use it for going to Tiramisu plays or we're searching. Then we have our triple Madolce Angeli. Um, Angeli's uh, pretty much your, I won't really say boss monster, but key card of the deck because it can search out any of your other Madolces by treating it, which you're normally going to go for Hoot Cake. So you can go to Mescalado and then get a, another search with Mescalado's effect. Then uh, for your other monsters, you're on triple Hoot Cake. Um, Hoot Cake just lets you banish a monster from your graveyard, especially on the Dolce from your deck. Pretty great card. Um, two Mess and Gelatos, just because you don't want to see him in hand. Um, you always want to search him from deck, so that way you can use Hoot Cake, search him from deck as effect, add your Chateau or Ticket or Palooza if you need to. So, great card. Um, then I do Double Fire Hand. Uh, great for popping monsters, deck thins. Double Ice Hand. Uh, back row destruction again nice deck thin I'm loving the hands in here um, one me foil I'm only doing one me foil because almost every single time I use it I feel like it's Valor to break through Phoenix Chain something always happens to this guy it seems and um, really I don't use it that much except for um, it's good with Angeli or Hoot Cake just uh, go into rank 3 or Angeli can get your Hoot Cake then something else and go to rank 3 so um, it's alright for certain plays, but since this is more of like a control build, it's not as much of the uh, OTK or spam build. I just run one. Then uh, one maxi. It's uh, nice for some draw power, stuff with those big plays. And uh, one Valor. I might make a few changes in here, like maybe bump up a Valor and uh, kick out maybe a Breakthrough or a uh, Phoenix Chain or something, but so far I'm uh, liking this a lot. It's doing well for me. And for spells, I do Double Chateau, um, your field card, that's all Medulce, it's gain 500, and you can also, um, when it's activated, shelf all Medulce from Graveyard back in the hand, and then also from so uh, Medulce is sent to the Graveyard instead of retiring to the deck like the normal effects, which all Medulce have, uh, you can add to your hand instead. We have Double Forbidden Lance, um, just for protection, or since lots of these guys have kind of low attack, you can... Use an opponent's monster, lower it down, keep them safe. I love Lance in here. It's a great card. Uh, one Mind Control. You know, those rank 4 or 3 decks. Steal their stuff. Exceed with it. Or just steal a boss monster, use its effect. Um, I'm loving Mind Control in here. Gotta knock that over. Uh, one Dark Hole. Just a uh, good field wipe if you need to. And uh, one MSC. Um, I really don't think MSTs need as much in the format we're in right now, just because so much hat and everything. Um, I'm liking two Lance and one MST a lot, that's how I'm just doing it at the moment, but I do have the other MST sided just in case. Um, then one Book of Moon, I'm um, really liking Book of Moon right now, good protection, stopping plays, and uh, one Medulce Ticket, just there for uh, when you got your fairy, well, you can do it without your fairy, but you want to basically use while you have a... Medulce Fairy, that way you, when you uh, use its effect to add a Medulce from your deck to your hand, you can special summon it if you have a face-up fairy, which pretty much any time a Medulce would be shuffled into the deck, you get to add a Medulce to your hand. Let's take it. And then if you have a fairy, you can special summon it. And then for traps, we have Double Dimensional Prison. Uh, keep your guys safe, just in case you need to. Uh, double Trap Stun, shut off things, let you make your plays. Uh, double Phoenix Chain, um, it's good for, since a lot of people have cut down on MSTs, which I've noticed. Um, Phoenix Chain is good there to stop a monster from attacking and negating effect, so it's pretty good. Uh, one Torrential, is for mass destruction. Uh, one Warning, just in case you need to get rid of some. Blackhorn, uh, really enjoying this in here. Um, I have the other side, I'm debating about maybe bumping this up to two in here. Um, yeah, it really worked great during the tournament. Uh, one Compulse, turn anything you need, one Bottomless, one Medulce Palooza for when you want to spam, and one Breakthrough Skill because I like Breakthrough Skill. 
I thought thinking about maybe uh, cutting down one chain and one breakthrough skill, just doing one of each and bumping up Valor to two. Um, but I do like breakthrough just so I, so I can use it during my turn too, even when it's in the grave. So, yeah, that's it for the main deck. Then for the extra, I'm doing double Dolce Queen Teramasu. Um, pretty much Teramasu's your, like, Pleiades on crack. <laughs> um, she becomes 2700 when you have your field card, so pretty high. And um, you can detach one XY Z material from her to return two Medulce cards from your graveyard back to the deck and then return two. So, pretty awesome card. Uh, except for you can't use during your opponents, so unlike Pleiades, but it lets you return two, so it's pretty nice. Uh, one crazy box, just in case I go up against a skill drain deck. Uh, one black ship, send anything. Hands and mains, etc. Anything that uh, it's gonna be a pain, get destroyed or just find a burn for a thousand. <laughs> uh, one one oh one, suck up those problem monsters. Diamond dire, um, blow up something if you need to. Uh, May stroke, I'm like a May stroke in here. He can sit a little while, defend, and flip stuff down. So I'm liking him. He's pretty good in here so far. Uh, one dweller, in this case for certain decks. Cowboy. In case you need to burn or beat over uh, one Rash and Berserk. I'm liking this card too, just because um, with my Teramasu, she can be 3,500 with this card equipped to it while you have out your field. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to get over, and uh, I can banish two things and equip it to one of my exceeds to gain 800. So, I'm really enjoying him. And one Ghost Trick All card, just to pop some face downs if you need to. One Levier, good for your combo plays, bring back your banished stuff. Uh, Mech Equip Angineer. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this card, but uh, I've noticed a lot of people playing it, and a couple of my friends have told me to keep on trying it, so I've tried it, and it's okay every now and then, but um, I don't know, I just, I'm not that big of a fan of it, <laughs> personally. Uh, one Invoker, you can pull out your Mess Enchilados if you need to, that's pretty much it for him, and uh, one Zen Mains, just because I love Zen Mains, and he can blow up stuff and sit for a little while, as long as I ain't got something like... Black ship or etc. Yeah, there's uh, I am two random Medulce tokens I made. The tea break. Uh, yeah, and molts. So yeah, there was my uh, Medulce deck profile. I thank you all for watching. See you guys later.